Right, we're back with another unboxing video, or it's not an actual unboxing video, I've already unboxed it, but you get the gist. Basically, what we've got here now, we've got the QS205 72 volts. Um, so if you saw the other unboxing video, that one was just a standard, bog standard, Chinese sort of mass produced um, hub motor. This one is the QS. QS is a lot higher up. Um, quality of the uh, hub motor. Uh, basically, what the reason I got this one was for this was for the Razor Rambler. I wanted to put a 5000 watt on, um, kit it out mad, full speed, everything else. But the problem was, and what I had, my I never knew with the guy I was dealing with. I've, I've sent him a photo of the bike and I've asked for a 16 inch um, rib. Because on the tire, it says 16 by three. But like an idiot, I should have measured it. The rim's not actual 16 inch. The rim's about 12 and a half inches. And then once you add the tire on, it's 16 inches. That's how Razor does their um, measurements. So when it turned up and I put it on, it fits on there. But the problem is, it's not enough room once you put the tire on. So this originally was for this, this project. That's not going to happen now, but I have ordered a three and a half thousand watt 16 inch with the tire to go on there. What'll be here in the next week or so. So you'll see that build, that build will be going on. You'll I'll do an unboxing. You'll see it going on there. Everything else. I can still use the controller throttle and everything else. This is a lovely wrist. I'll show you. That. Lovely solid. It's more like a motorbike rim really, but it's nice solid. Really nice, the thick cable on it. Even look, even the hub connectors. Everything's nicely done on this. It's all nice, nice fit, nicely done. Solid as anything, heavy as hell. But all the spokes are nicely put in, and you can see from the from the where the uh, beading is, how nice it is. So this, I think this will be a project. This is going to be like a pit bike. We're going to get a pit bike because with a tire on, this is probably about 19 inches, maybe 20. This ain't 16, the rim 16. So always look out for that when you're ordering. Make sure when you say to them on the chat, you say, I need, say, 16 inches with the tyre. So then the problem is when I was buying all these, I didn't know as much as I do now. So, but it's a lovely hub motor. So this is the QS205, 72 volt. <laughs> that one there, that don't fall off, perfect. Right, basically, I've got some stats on this anyway. I'll put up on the screen, but they they done a test, so they done it with this would have been if they was using ninety amps power, what was coming from the controller. This would be um, it would be peaking at about six thousand watts, and you'd be getting thirteen hundred RPM out of it, and that's peaking at 90, 90 watts. So we'll leave that there what come with this kit as well so we had the far driver I'll put, I'll put a photo up of the of the stuff on here anyway so this is the far driver 72450 so this has a 200 amp continuous line uh, of ampage going out of this with a peak of 450 amps so this was measured at 90 amps peak so the battery i have got to go with this I've got the um, Amore 72 volt, 32 amp, and that's a 200 amp continuous as well. So I could have been running this at 200 amp, and if you're getting 1300 RPM out of 90, you can imagine how quick that would have been on that. So we're gonna, that's not gonna happen on this, but this will happen on the pit bike. So we're gonna, we're gonna get full speed out of this one. But I am gonna use this on the new motor I've got. So it's a three and a half thousand watt um motor but it's only got i think the max amp out of it is like a 50 60 continuous amp so it's not it's nowhere near as good as the qs but on that that's still going to rip and i'm going to use this controller even though this is this is overkill this is 200 amp i'm only going to be putting 50 60 amp through that even the battery i'm going to use the more battery 200 amp well it's going to be overkill really but i'm just going to do it to get it going and then i can use them parts i'll put this then on to um, on the pit bike when I get it for the max power 
um, and then I'll get I'll get this working. So this this is a far driver, and this one is a seven two two zero zero, but it's an eighty amp continuous max. So this one is two hundred. This one's eighty. You can see the size difference. The back on the, it's that's the cooling block on the back. So this would be perfect for the three and a half thousand watt I'm going to put on there. So we're not we're not maxing this out, but we're going to put about sixty through it, and then that's going to be at eighty. But I'm going to do it with this first because I just want to check the check the kit is all working. Because the thing with the far driver controllers, this here is the Bluetooth dongle, so we can adjust it. So we can put on it to say, okay, we only want sixty amps coming out of it. So it won't blow, it won't be trying to pull too much out of it. Even though the battery could take it, but the hub motor I've got, it wouldn't, it, it would end up melting the magnets inside. So we'll try that out anyway. But so these are the far, far drivers, they're really good controllers. And like I said, we have an app. I'll show you the app, it'll come on. Um, and you can basically do your talk, you can do everything, everything to do with it, max power, everything you want to do in it. So. Yeah, so I'm going off a bit subject here, so we're focusing on this. But So with this kit, I received the QS205 um, 5000 watt hub motor. I received the 72450 far driver controller, lovely controller this. I also received, we had the, um, let me get you the, let me get your full name so I don't start going off subject. So this is the 061 DKD LCD display. So this will be telling you your your speed, how much volts you've got left, your revs, everything. It's really nice, nice screen. So this comes with the kit. You also get the throttle, the throttle of the kit. And on the throttle, so you've got full twist throttle, and then if, if you want to res reverse and you've got all other, but you've got your speed control in here so you can hook it up to one, two, three speed. You've even got your lights on here if you was going to hook that up. So that comes with it. And also they gave me, it's pretty similar, but if you wanted indicators and a horn and everything else, this we probably wouldn't bother with, but uh, this came with it. So the whole of that kit all came together and it cost me a grand total of, boom, boom, boom. I'll tell you now, while well, I'm speaking actually, if you are watching this and you are enjoying this and you enjoyed my other videos, please, can you just subscribe? I mean, it don't cost you anything and I'm getting thousands and thousands of hours of viewing, but I, I want to grow this channel, so I need the subscribers. So if you do and you really enjoy it, I'm going to say don't do it if you don't, please, please subscribe and um, you're going to be getting good more. You'll be seeing all the road once they're all on the road and the top speeds and everything else so that will be coming up so yeah i'll tell you exactly how much that cost okay so this is with delivering this was um this was cargo shipping so it took about about two months maybe a bit less it was 465 us dollars so if we put that in 465 uh 465 usd to the GP, um, £359, that's with the exchange rate now, it's quite good at the moment, it's about 130 when I've done it I think it's about 123 but now Trump's trying to um, put tariffs on everyone, the sort of markets are a bit wobbly so we've got a bit of a better rate there, was good. And even with Alibaba at the minute, the Chinese do want to barter with you because where Trump's, like they've already had a higher tariff but they've stuck on another 10% I think and they're looking to do more. It's, they're losing money so they want to deal with with the UK and Europe so um, yeah so at the minute it's a good time so yeah so 359 pound I probably paid about 380 at the time but 380 nice solid friend you've got the hub motor even these you try and buy one of these in the UK off like not off of China just like Amazon or anything you're paying about 260 280 quid just for that just for the far driver so, and the, the quality was really good. I'll put up, uh, the, the people I brought it from, uh, I'd look through, there's 4.8 out of five. They've sold hundreds and hundreds, good review. They've got, um, their turnover was, I think a couple million a year. 
I mean, it was a good company, looked at all the reviews, nice, honest. The guy was helpful as anything. Even when it turned up, I sent him pictures and I said, I said, what's going on? I said, none of the cables match the cables you gave me. And that's the thing with a fire driver. You've got to, it's not just click and play. You have got to connect the, like the screen to, with a separate power and everything else. It is a bit different, but he said, you know what? He said, Chris, don't worry. He said, we've been designing a cable What's just going to match everything up, marry everything up? He said, I'll send that to you for nothing. He said, don't worry, I'll send you that with a key switch as well included. Sent me a picture the other day, I put the picture up with all the cable. Oh, I don't know who it comes, but it's free. And he said, that should connect everything like a plug and play. And I haven't seen that on the file drive. He said, they've just made the cable, especially. So that might be another good thing if, if that does work. I mean, if, if this video helps, if you're not, if you... Like, I don't mind wiring stuff up like I did on the other bikes, but if you've got click and play, it's so much easier. So, yeah, so that's that kit. Um, yeah, so you have other information as we go along. So once that, the three, three and a half thousand watt motor comes, we're going to throw it onto the, the Rambler. We'll probably use this, like I said, this controller for the minute uh, with the battery. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, the bike I bought from Auction, if you want to watch that video, it's a really good video. Um, I've just got to adjust the brakes. I know I put up a video saying I need new brakes, but you can take the brakes hang on as well. But I have got um, I have got other calipers I can put on if it all goes wrong. We've got other ones to put on to make sure it works. So I've just got to adjust the brakes on that and you will be getting a ride on video because I know a lot of my videos have just been sort of like building the bikes or getting them, but there'll be some ride on videos soon. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, see you next time.